hey jewels welcome back to our channel i'm so excited that you guys are joining me for yet another video if you are new to my channel welcome i'm so excited that you have decided to join us please click the subscribe button then click the bell make sure you click that you want to be notified of all videos so you never miss an upload from me i am so excited that all of you guys have decided to join me and reviewing the products that i have been enjoying and newly purchased items so this is going to be kind of like a slash haul and a products i'm loving so i might even throw in some other items that are really 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 old but i just like them so again this is kind of sort of like a haul and a um i guess yeah favorites video two in one if you guys are excited about this video and you can't wait to see what we're going to be chatting about keep on watching okay guys so these items are in no in particular order this is going to be a pretty long video if you do not like videos like these i only want those who are interested in videos like these to stay and watch the video these are the style of videos that i enjoy watching these are the style of videos that i like to share so if you don't like videos like these don't thumbs me down just don't even watch you know so now that we got that all out the way we're going to address the elephant in the room as you guys know i am wearing a hair piece on my head this is not my authentic hair so before somebody try to come for me and say i'm misleading you guys i am wearing the and i'm only going to do this review once i'm wearing the Autre timeless ponytail and I will probably do a how I put it in and different styles that you can wear it in. But you'll probably see me wearing it in different styles because I am loving this. And I just picked it up at my local beauty store. And this hair was $11.99. And I think that's just the overall going rate for this hair. Whether you buy online or in person. So I saw it in the hair store and I was in there for something else. And... I wanted to try it out this is the medium this is actually the largest one everybody thinks this is a large you no know, my head was just probably small but this is the medium fro and it is in the number one as you guys can see and i'll do a full-on review on it in a later video but i kind of took it to the side because that's just me i never really like to do what everybody else is doing some people wear it all the way to the back some people just put it on i like to like do different things to my hair just to give it a little bit of character so now that we've got that out the way let's go ahead and jump right into the goodies now don't come for me guys i have picked up several different foundations that i have been meaning to do reviews on but i just have so many products that i purchase and buy and like and love and <sighs> Sometimes I get carried away with posting on Instagram and then sometimes I just get caught up into the whole shenanigans of building a video and then trying to get them out so fast. Now that I have decided to go ahead and do Vlogtober and the Parlor Glam Holiday every year on my channel. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Vlogtober, I'll leave that link below so you can go ahead and check out that series. And at the end of this series, the entire series will be available for those of you who are just chiming in and you want to catch up on those videos. Now, I have been trying both high-end and low-end products, okay? So just to let you know that this isn't just a high-end video or low-end video. I like a variety of different types of products. I try really expensive products that are probably unnecessary and i try really cheap products that are probably not worth it <laughs> but either way it go i'm here to let you guys kind of decide for yourself whether or not the purchase is worth your money or whether you should just keep on moving and don't even worry about buying it 
So one of the products that I had purchased a while back, as you can see, I had it a while and the name has kind of rubbed off on it was this um, Black Radiance Foundation. Love, love, love this. I am not wearing this right now. We're going to get into the foundation that I am wearing. But this is the Black Radiance and this is an 8414 Brownie. I have really been loving this foundation. It says it's the perfect liquid makeup that enhances the natural undertones of the skin it says it enhances the natural undertones of the skin when i say i love this foundation i love this foundation when i first purchased it i didn't think i was gonna like it i don't know why i didn't think i was gonna like not like this black radiance foundation but i just just genuinely thought i was just not going to like it and so it took me a while to actually go ahead and say you know what and jump right in and try it don't worry about it you know if you don't like it you can always just you know either give it away to somebody who is in this shade and what you know don't really mind you know working with it or go ahead and try it and when i say it works with all different types of powders not every foundation works with all your different powders and i purchased several different powders because again i have several different types of foundations which if you guys want to see a foundation video i will give you guys one because the foundations i'm about to show you guys aren't even half of what i have in my collection but I really like this it gives me full coverage it does bring forth your natural undertones as it says it can be a bit shiny depending on how you set it but I like a dewy foundation so if that's not really something you like then this might not be the foundation for you also I wanted you guys to know that this foundation does come with a spatula and not your pump some people are really big and they live for their pumps this one doesn't come with a pump needless to say the next foundation is the born this way foundation the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and this is in the color spice rum I did let you guys know that I already had this foundation a while back and I did tell you guys, I think, yeah, I did a look on it and I think, well, I think I did an unboxing. I'm not sure if I had did a review on it or not, but here it is. I really love it. It reminded me so much of this foundation and they're totally did. Well, they're almost the same shade. It's just this one is in, well, they are the same shade. It's just this one is in like that frost type of glass. So when I did get this uh, foundation, no lie applying this reminded me so much of this foundation though this has um what is it this has coconut water to aid in delicately little, little, little. this is coconut water to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels it has apolline rose to help brighten and boost skin radiance and it has hyaluronic acid for a smoother more youthful appearance it is hydrating long wearing photo friendly and non comedogenic and it's 100 percent said that this foundation blurs their well according to they say their tests that 100 percent said it blurred their imperfections 100 percent said the school skin looked absolutely perfect 97 percent said it provided natural coverage based on their consumer study consumer study now I'm not sure if they did do a consumer study or not because I wasn't a part of that consumer study, nor have I received or found any information with regards to independent studies on foundations. Usually sometimes that stuff is available for the public, but a lot of times they do um, post it where you can actually, which you normally end up normally is for the packaging and for marketing purposes. So I could kind of trust Too Faced did do that because Too Faced puts out a lot of quality products. So I really do like um, this foundation. But like I said, it did remind me so much of the Black Radiance foundation, which is kind of why I reviewed this foundation first for you guys so that I don't forget to say that it did remind me so much of this foundation. Now, as far as this foundation is concerned, it does have much, much better features than well, I'm not going to even say it has better features than the Black Radiance because black, the Black Radiance said it enhances natural undertones of skin and smoothly, it smoothly applies. It is perfect color, perfect blend, ideal for all skin types. 
So I don't know. This is good for all skin types and it enhances your natural beautiful undertone so it give you like if you already have like a sun kiss look it's gonna enhance if you already have like a dewy situation going on it's gonna enhance it so i think that each foundation has its own purpose and stuff like that so for me in particular you know for me specifically i what i look for in a foundation is something that is gonna give me full coverage because i like to wear makeup like i like the skin look but if it just look too much like skin, then I'm not going to buy it because it's almost like I might as well not even put on any foundation if it looks just like my skin. Because for me, the purpose of wearing makeup is just to feel like I'm wearing makeup. I like the look of wearing makeup. That's just me. So I like the full coverage that both of these give. Both of them, to me, give the same amount of coverage. This one just have a bit more, I guess, um, ingredients and stuff to make it a more considered high class type of foundation i guess to be um i think this is like thirty dollars and the be a drugstore foundation does just as good of a job you know i think you kind of gotta go in with a lot more skincare with a foundation like this because it doesn't provide the same benefits as the two page the Too Faced Born This Way um, does. Now, a lot of people were comparing this to, I think it was BH Cosmetics Natural, All Natural Foundation, which I have did a video on. And it is, that foundation is so pretty. And I just don't get why a lot of people don't like that foundation. It had a lot of negative reviews and I really don't know why. Because I love, I love that BH Cosmetics Foundation. Now, that foundation is kind of like, it's just totally different and I really like the way it feels. I just like everything about that foundation. When it came out, I felt absolutely in love with the way it looked on my skin. It kind of reminded me again of these two foundations. So I don't know. I just think that I probably just have one of those skin tones to me that I just really, really like and enjoy. I really like the look of my skin. I really like the way my foundation applies to my skin. I really like the way my makeup looks in general. So I really like the Born This Way foundation. It does give you full coverage. You will have to build it up again, medium to full coverage because upon first application, you will not get a full coverage beat. You will have to apply you know, depending on your skin type and how you like your foundations, you will have to apply enough. Hence, it does say medium to full coverage. Now, I do like um, the packaging on the Too Faced um, Born This Way foundation as opposed to the drugstore foundations, which tend to rub off a lot more quicker. But I have had this longer. So they pretty much have the same imprint embossing of writing this one has a more smooth top and this one has a black top i don't want you guys to think that i'm comparing these foundations i just want to give you guys an overall gist of um drugstore versus high-end sometimes people think that because they're wearing a certain foundation that they're considered a certain type of purchaser but i know a lot of people um, with corporate jobs that don't wear high-end products they like drugs or products and I know a lot of people who you know don't really work in corporate America and really probably don't have a, a six-figure per se job and they like high-end products and it's kind of weird but a lot of times that's just how it is with products now the next foundation that I have is the NARS this is the all day luminous weightless foundation and this is the foundation that i am currently wearing right now and just like the Too Faced born this way foundation this foundation is in one of those frost type bottles this says all day luminous weightless foundation it does say shake well before using this is dark three and again like i said i'm wearing it right now all day luminous and when i say dewy oh yes you i am getting my whole life together with this dewy finish i really like this foundation though it's really pretty i like the way it wears on my skin i like the way it um my contour came out with regards to wearing it i don't think it's a bit too much i did have to go in with one two maybe well not really much i was kind of afraid when i used it because when i pumped it out it wasn't like the thick liquidy consistency that i'm used to with foundation is more so like watery like really really watery <laughs> like really watery 
and really watery. And I was kind of like, is it going to look good on my skin or am I going to have to, you know, but when I went to apply it to my skin, it just immediately gave me so much coverage. And one thing I did notice is that when I did try to bring it down to blend it into my neck, which is what I'm used to doing so that my neck and my face kind of match, it didn't really, you know, uh, blend as good as I thought it was going to do. But needless to say, I really do like this foundation and I'm glad to have it in my collection. I don't know what took me so long to try it, but I do want to try out the NARS. It was another NARS. It's not the luminous. I think this one, this one is the only one that's watery, I think. I'm not sure. I have to double check. But this one is a watery, the All Day Luminous, which is this one. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is weightless, hence the word weightless. This is the one that is watery. So if you don't really like a watery, and I mean it's literally like water. If you don't like a watery, I think I should go and show, show you guys how watery it is. See how water is just like water. It's just plain water. Like it's not plain water, but I guess that's what makes it luminous. And then I'm just going to blend it out on my skin. See, and you get that much color. Even though it, that's why I'm like, even though it applies like watery, like it blends into the skin so good. And if you play with foundations a lot, you'll automatically know, you know, what your shade is and things of that nature when it comes to. So when I put my hand side by side, that's this is how I choose my shades and my foundation. Like if I really don't want to go like putting it to like because my hand matches my neck, my veins and everything popping out and stuff like that. But that's kind of how I match my foundations i mean i know a lot of people have various ways but i just kind of rub it in and let it sit and i know it oxidizes down but it doesn't do too much because i always go in with my powder to brighten it up if it get too 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 dark anyway so i never really worry about as long as i get close to my skin tone complexion i feel like um i'm good so this is after blended it in and everything else as you can see on my face so like I said when I go in with my that's how I know whenever I get a foundation if I'm gonna go ahead and go in with um, my powders and everything how and if I'm gonna like an actual product and me being lazy I just made sure I just went in and rubbed that into my skin so that is the NARS luminous foundation and like I said guys I really really love that it does come in a standard all black packaging with the NARS logo on it. Really, really like it. Like how it's wearing. It does give me that dewy glow beat. And I'm loving it, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I really like the NARS foundation. I really think that it is super duper cute on my skin. And like I say, it's giving me, it's giving me that dewy, glue, uh, luminous look that I like. And it almost appears a little bit oily, but that is not. It's just you know it's a luminous foundation so let's move right along to the next product so the next product we have is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer now this one is in cocoa I bought it because I got the foundation so it was only fitting to get the uh, concealer and I know I'm gonna have this concealer for a while because this could probably pretty much probably turn into a foundation for me <laughs> It, I love it. I like the way it applies. It's really, really smooth. And I want to actually get a lighter shade in it as well for like my uh, highlighting shade or whatever whenever I'm going in and contouring. The next foundation I have, I just picked this up. I have not tried it, but this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Health Elixir. It has vitamin E, B3, and vitamin 5 foundation with vitamins and sunscreen and this has SPF 20 and I am in 775 and it is soft sable and I've heard that they're comparing this to the new well this new foundation well it's about one year well it's new because it's only I think about one years old so so it's new to me it's new to my collection but 
They're comparing it to Mac because Mac has the SPF in it and I don't think it has any of vitamins or anything else. At least I know that my Mac NW47, I think that is in Studio Fix Plus. Yeah. So it has the SPF in it, but I don't think it has the vitamins and all that in it. So a lot of people are comparing this, which I think I paid $10 for maybe. I haven't tried this out. I'll be doing a future video on this to test it out and show you guys how I like it and pretty much what I'll be using it for. That's what I'll be using it for. <laughs> I'll be using it for foundation, but I'll be showing you guys a video. Maybe a get ready with me or something like that. I was thinking about getting like all of my CoverGirl products and all of my LA Curl Color, all of my Milani Ruby Kisses and high end and low end products and kind of doing like one brand look videos for you guys. Um, maybe starting now and going into the new year. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, be on the lookout for videos like those. I do have those coming you guys this way. So have the CoverGirl Elixir, again, in Soft Sable. Again, this one, I have not tried out just yet. This is a fairly new purchase, and I'm just excited to compare it to the MAC um, Studio Fix Plus, which, again, stays in my collection. Now, this product is fairly new to my uh, collection. Just uh, picked it up, but it has been raved about and raved about. And I'm like, okay, let me see what the hype is. Now, they do have two different types of this product. So here's one, and here's the second one. Now, this is the one I have, and this is the Ole Mist Ultimate Hydration Essence. And this one is energizing with vitamin C and bergamot. Now, what it does, it says hydrating mist with vitamin C and bergamot extract leaves skin feeling revitalized, refreshed, and energized. It says it absorbs quickly and refreshes makeup. It also says it leaves skin looking bright. Now, the most important thing, even though it says all of that, is how do you use this um, energizing essence, you know? And then it basically says that you can use it after you moisturize your skin before you actually go in to apply your makeup. You can use it after your makeup is done and then you can use it throughout the day as a, like almost like a booster. So I thought that this was cool because it's not even, uh, it's a multi-use. It's not even, you know, something that you just use one time and boom, that's it. No, you can use it before you start your makeup to get a nice, you know, outcome and then you can use it to seal off everything and then you can use it all throughout the day i did use this um once i was done because i think yeah i started my this look off with just my tart um which i have did a review on the tart kit that i have i did start my my skin base off with the tart products and then i went in with the nars foundation and everything else to get this beat and I just wanted to uh, try this out and let you guys know my first impression. And when I say it smells good, yo, oh my goodness. This smells like, it smells so good. I don't even know what the, what, I don't even know what to say it smells like, but it, it doesn't give you a smell like, oh, this shouldn't go on my face. It's almost like, whoa, I really, oh, I really like this product. This is a product that you can kind of, now I look like I'm oily, but so if you're wearing a matte makeup, or if you're wearing matte makeup, it'll give you, it'll kind of wake your matte makeup up. It'll kind of give your makeup a glow. So I think that's what it's doing. It's giving my makeup like a little glow. I really, really, I really like this. And I highly recommend you guys just try it out. I did get this from Ulta. So this was one of the products that was inside of the, and I'm pointing at the bag because the pink bag is sitting over there. And this was one of the products that was inside of the pink bag that I did do a video on. So if you watched the video and I said, oh, I want to do a review on some of the products. And I think I did a partial video, which I'll leave that video in the description box below where you can go ahead and check out the partial videos because there are some products that I did mention that I ain't mentioned right here because I just didn't feel like doing a long video that night. I think I was a little tired or something was going on. Yeah, I think I either took my husband to the hospital 
because he wasn't feeling good at all and I kind of just wanted to get a video out there so I just did a review of some of the products and then I put some other products out there and then my videos kind of chopped I did say that I was going to go through the weekend but I didn't end up doing it because like I said I had to take my husband to the hospital but he's doing well of course but I really like this product and like I say this was one of the products that was in the bag and I am excited to bring you guys my first impression smells good feels good like it so far and I, of course I'll bring you guys an updated review on how I'm loving it or how I'm liking it and if I will continue to purchase this because it is a little pricey now the bottle is plastic so if you guys are looking for a glass bottle for something like this I don't know but if this is a what you're getting 3.3 fluid ounces so i don't know how i feel too much about it but as of right now i kind of like it so definitely something that i look forward to using again in the future and like i say we'll bring you guys an updated review on this the next product that i have in my collection is this ramil palette i saw this a long time ago and this is the magnifying glass jewels uh, rock edition now they came out with several kits and I wasn't one of those who was privy to the PR kit hopefully in the future I'll get me some makeup PR but I got quite a few palettes and none of the shades look anything like these and these look like this is just a palette full of all shimmers well I do have no you got shimmer shimmer matte shimmer matte shimmer matte shimmer 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 okay so you get one two three so you get three mattes and then the rest are all shimmers and basically on the back it does give you if you want to call this a brush you can call it a brush <laughs> so this is what it comes with as far as uh what to use it with i never use those things and this is again the packaging so i'm excited about using it um, let me see if I can swatch, see how the, I don't have any, normally I don't like to swatch stuff if I don't have no primer on my arm, but let's see. These are the mattes. So those are the mattes. They seem kind of, I don't know. The texture kind of reminds me of an e.l.f. palette, but I think e.l.f. got this palette beat. So I don't know. We'll have to play in it to see if this was worth my purchase. I only purchased one. I think there were actually two, three, four, five or six that came in this um, edition, collection edition, jewels collection edition. But this was the one that stood out the most. It had the prettiest colors for me um they did have one that was more so purples and blues and reds and berries and stuff like that but like i said this one was the more more of the foresty fall type of vibe for me that i was kind of feeling and so that's kind of why i picked it up but i'm not sure if now that i swatched it that it's gonna perform to par so we're gonna see test it out we're gonna see what it do and then we'll bring you guys a review and a tutorial now oh let me talk about this Ramil mousse foundation i did try this and i looked at a hot mess i'm gonna try one more time and i think i said i was gonna do that i'm gonna try it one more time and i'm gonna try it in a different manner in which i saw uh and i read up on how to use this mousse foundation this one is in 504 deep mocha and if that doesn't work i'm gonna just um go ahead and dx this mousse foundation and just call it a quiz and give you guys my whole review and there'll probably be a video with me looking something like this in it like girl don't buy that <laughs> why you like mousse foundations it's horrible but if you don't know how to use a product you gotta learn it before you can give it a review so i'd rather try all the different techniques that you're supposed to try and then give you guys a honest not just oh it was hard for me to work with the product so of course that will probably be a part of the review like it took me this long to learn it but then i did put it down for quite some time but i picked it back up and i said let me mention it while i'm talking about other foundations and stuff so you guys know that that video is coming now when it comes to primers 
OMG, this poor Snow More Luminizing Primer by Dr. Brandt. Oh my goodness. This is a must have. If you guys haven't tried this, it comes out white, like a white paste. It does have like a nozzle, tube nozzle like top. But this says apply on clean skin, moisturized skin, use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup for a flawless uh, application for AM and PM. And when I say this is so good, this is so good for your foundations. Now, if you're wearing a matte foundation and you put this on, oh, you're finna get your whole life. I think I tried this with the Black Radiance. I think that was probably why it looked it so pretty that I tried this, this with the Black Radiance. And it looked it so pretty, but I tried it think, with one, my MAC, it looked good with the MAC as well. So I tried it with both a high-end uh, foundation and I tried it with a drugstore foundation. And this primer is nice. Like, I already like the exfoliating uh, scrubs that I have from Dr. Durant that I got in a few boxy charms a while back. I need to do a review on those, come to think about it. But I like this. And yeah, it's pretty pricey, but I really like this. I'll leave this uh, linked in the description box so you guys can get some of this and try it out and tell me what y'all think because I hands down love that. Speaking of primers, I have also been loving this Hydra Touch Oil Primer by NYX. Now, I believe this is the one that came with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I'm not sure. No, this isn't the one that came with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is the one that I said I'll use under matte foundations or that you could just use just to oil your face throughout today. So really been loving this. Love the nozzle that it comes in. This was a recent purchase of mine. And I really like this with a matte, matte, matte foundation. I don't really like to use this with something that's dewy or oily or runny. I will use this with a matte foundation more specifically. Um, the uh, mousse foundation is one that I'm going to try this out with and see how it uh, turns out and bring you guys a review on those two. Now, when it comes to the lip oils, you guys know I raved about these lip oils. When I first got these lip oils, and this one is the lemon, and this one is the strawberry, cranberry, and parmesan, and this one is coconut. I don't know why I'm saying lemon and strawberry. Coconut, and this one is the creme cranberry and pomade and these are the two that I raved about and I said y'all get an opportunity to try out Ulta Beauty's uh, lip oils y'all gonna fall in love with lip oils it depends on how much moisturization you like on your lips now if you don't really like moisturization on your lips and you don't really care how your lip look you might not want to try this out and you might stick to your regular chapstick but I like to exfoliate my lips go on with my chapstick and topper it off with this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup or on days when I am wearing makeup but I just want to wear a basic gloss. This is what I'm using, my combo. So now I am trying out the Sweet Rose. This is the one that I picked up. This is in Sweet Rose. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that is how much you get. Basically, it comes full to the top. And I'm already more than halfway done with the other one. So it was definitely. So this one is just like almost like having one product. So like I say, I'm already halfway going. I know these will be going in no time. But I kind of want to still have two on hand. So like I said, this will be just like having two on hand, which is why I only picked up two. Well, why I only picked up one. And I really wanted to go ahead and give the Sweet Rose a try to see how it smells and how it feels and I really like how these smell and feel so I know I repurchased these again but I want to kind of to try out Sweet Rose like I say and see how I like that one so definitely try Ulta Beauty's oils like I said I like to go in with my uh exfoliate lip exfoliator speaking of lip exfoliator I have been liking so far the Seraphine Britannica's sugar and lemon moisturizing lip buffer and it just comes packaged like that and then when I say this, it smells so good and it tastes so good. Woo, I think I bra bragged about this and raved about this. It has an 18-month, 16, 
18 month life cycle on it. And I think I already raved about this product over and over and over and over again. But you guys are going to really love this product if you try this lip scrub out. I mean, your lipstick. I don't know about anybody else, but I know for me, when my lips start getting chapped and crazy, my lips just don't look right with any type of anything on it. And I just start looking weird and I really don't like that. So I have to go in with a chapstick and get the lips right oil them down get the oils going good and make everything look right now we're talking about the magic minute by Julius place now if you guys are wondering what I am wearing on my eyes It is the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. Now, this palette is not new. It is a little outdated. I'm not sure when it actually came out. But I went in with Zakiri Osone Kizzy. I used Ify and I used Koji. So basically, because I don't, I can't pronounce any of those names. This one is on my inner tear duct right here, this color. I used that, uh, like a light orange. I went in with that pinky. Was that a dark pink or red-ish color? Koji. So this is in my inner tear duct. I used these two on my outer lids. And I used this one to tight line. Um, both the top and bottom of my eyelash and basically that's it what I used and Kind of love this palette now. It does like any other palette have a lot of fallout But Juvia's place palette uh, eyeshadows are nice This magic mini palette is so cute. I love the packaging and I love the overall theme This one says it was inspired to opposites attract the mag the magic palette was inspired by the moon and sun goddess of the wilds a beautiful fusion of cool and warm tones vibrantly infused with 16 ultra pressed pigments perfect for a day and nighttime looks and then it goes into the ingredients the fact that juvia's place is cruelty free it is formulated and created in the usa made in prc so, really love the packaging always on Juvia's Place's palettes. Like I said, I did create this stunning look with this palette. I did not do a Get Ready With Me video with this palette because I just wanted to go ahead and get all this out the way. Plus, the previous video, if you haven't checked out the video before this, is where I'm comparing two toners. Be sure to check that out. Make sure I leave that in the description box. But, love this palette. Definitely glad to have it inside of my Juvia's Collection palette. I did also pick up, you guys know I got Soil, which is like a more orange, brickish type tone. So I did pick up the red, which I can't wait to do a look with the red for the holidays for you guys. This one is in Africa. Yeah. Afric. No, this is Afric. Liquid Matte Liquid. Okay. Let me do it right. Give you your just do. So just like Soil, it comes in a tight package. And it looks so stunning. I like the head wrap. I like the whole entire headdress on there. I like just the overall tribal look. Native Americans and Africans kind of have that same vibe with the tribal wear. I remember my great grandmother, who is Native American, always having like a lot of colors and tribal looks and stuff. She had this long, beautiful hair and her high cheekbones and. I just, oh, she just, seeing my great-grandmother, which is my mother's mother's mother, just made me just feel so, I don't know, inspired every single day and love to be beautiful. And just thinking of her just always brings me so much joy. I miss her so much. And I love you, Grandma. I know you're watching over me, and I love you so much. Okay, moving right along. I think it's time for me to throw this away because the shelf life is only 12 months, but this is like one of my favorite lip glosses and this one is just from this is a shimmer flavored gloss from victoria's secrets 
it's still fresh and it's still going strong and this one is in lemon sherbet which i think that's why i'm so in love with the sour cream botanicals lemon and sugar because both of these have pretty much the same smell fragrance scent however you want to call it and they smell so 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 good loving the laura mercier which isn't a new purchase um really just been missing this and happy i kind of got back into it uh love this for my setting of my face underneath the eye more specifically and shadows i did use that to set my um i used the sharp the tart shape tape concealer and then i went in with the laura mercier on top of that and then i went in with my colors which is how i kind of got this look and I love it. I just like I said, I think it came out so beautiful. Now, as far as lip combo, I think my lip combo is cute. I think it's kind of fading a little bit. We'll see. I think it's kind of fading a little bit. We'll see. So this lip pencil, this lip pencil is by Jordana and it is in Cocoa. I have the Too Faced Melted Lip in Sellout. Definitely kind of felt like that needed to be refreshed. So I've been loving this as a combo. And I've been topping it out once it dries down with this LA Colors Glass Lip Gloss, which is also another fave. Sadly, this one is almost all well, almost all the way to an end. It is really thick, but it's barely anything left in. I, I, I when I say I, I use a lip gloss, as you can see, it's practically empty. I'm on the last leg of that, so. I definitely will have, probably end up having this in the empties, but love it. Probably will be repurchasing it in the future. So that is my lip combo with this eye look. I went in with more of a, I wanted like a brick tone look with the red flary pinky eye-ish look. The next product, and I have a lot more products to go, guys. So the next product is this Urban Decay All Nighter. I did get this a while back. have been really loving this. Haven't been using it a lot because I really am stuck on my, what is that, MAC. Um, I really like my MAC spray, missing spray, so MAC setting spray. So this Urban Decay All Nighter is a makeup setting spray, lasts long. It, it kind of sets your makeup and it is supposed to be um, last, help your makeup last all night up to 16 hours. I don't know who's wearing makeup for 16 hours, but that's what this um makeup says that it does for products it says stop makeup meltdown with groundbreaking testing formula all nighter mist on weightlessly to keep your makeup looking gorgeous after applying for up to six hours without melting without melting cracking fading or setting into lines results in a smoothing looking skin vibrant makeup that lasts all day apply Apply after makeup and then use it two to four times in an X or T shape or or you can go which is what most people do anyway. So definitely been enjoying that and mm, I haven't been seeing anything settling but this is a luminous foundation so I don't really think it's going to do that anyway. Now the next product. I did get this in a giveaway from Lonnie, Wani, Donnie, Wani, Sonny, something like that. I did get this in a um, giveaway and I really did like it. As you guys can see, as compared to how it comes in the package, it is three times bigger One is once it is, once it is wet. I did go and purchase my own in an even bigger size. 
and that's how big that one is so imagine this one wet it's gonna be even bigger so like I, said, I got this one in a giveaway and I purchased this one on my own I really like the consistency of this I do like going in with this to pat it down like if I'm wearing a foundation that may be too luminous for me or if I'm wearing a, a foundation that I feel like just kind of needs to be calmed down a bit. I really like applying my foundation, not foundation, but I really like applying my powders and setting everything out and blending everything out with a beauty blender because the coldness of the beauty blender kind of soothes, I don't know, for me, it soothes the eye area, like if I'm tight in that area from a, a long uh, night or, you know, been up all night or something like that and I'm trying to do a beat. So when I go on with this, um, it's almost like putting a cold, uh, one of those cold face masks on your eyes. So I really like this for that. I also have been loving this Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. And this brush right here is the business. When I say it's the business, this is the business. I really like to go in when I'm done with this and just kind of use it to blend all my products and i am not wearing any blush today but this product this brush is used for both my um fit finishing face powder if i'm using face powder or i may just use it like i did just then just to kind of smooth everything out and you know just bring everything and keep everything blended together so definitely been liking that for that another product that i have been liking and kind of pulling out and jumping into is this um kush mascara this mascara i did a review on is the this is the milk makeup mascara and again it's by kush this is the one i did that is so heavy and everybody was like doing videos of them smoking and things of that nature because it comes with somewhat cannabis in the inside of it um formulated with it which isn't any doesn't have any type of illegal substance or anything in it this does have a six month uh shelf life on it however what i found was that these uh which is kind of why i started trying to get some use out of it as well because i opened it and once you open it you kind of want to get your use out of it but i found that this is really really thick and it is going to last longer than six months because of the amount of product that you do get in it and like i said i have been reaching for this milk foundation i'm sorry milk foundation this milk mascara and you can find this at sephora i will again leave a link below so if you would like to purchase this mascara you can go ahead and check it out one cool feature about this mascara is that it is made out of the lamborghini well recyclable lamborghini car material so that is one of the things that i thought was really really unique i do see myself repurchasing this to support the cause really really enjoyed that and i like it uh, another product that i have really 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 been, been liking is this ardell strip lash um glue this one dries down clear guys don't get the lash glue that dries down black unless you're just a pro at applying it i find that when i'm using the lighter tone shades of eyeshadows when i go in with a lash glue that is black it leaves like a stain all across my eye makeup and i hate that because it ends up looking just uh and i don't have time to keep going back fixing it i just want to go ahead and go about my day or if i'm shooting a video shoot my video and get it done with the hassle of going back and forth is just uh, Make sure you get the one that says for strip lashes, clear, clear adhesive. Make sure it says clear adhesive on the box and you'll know it because like I say, it'll say clear adhesive on the box. Once it says clear adhesive, you're in a go. You know that it's going to dry down clear. It's going to go on white when you put it on the lash. But once you stick it to your actual eye, the lash to your eye, and then you won't have all that black stuff like zigzagging all over your eyes. So I know you guys are going to hate that. Then I've been falling in love again with, aside from when I'm not wearing concealer and choosing concealers. If I'm, depending on, if I go in with a concealer first, sometimes I will go in with, uh, to cut my crease with, uh, this Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I picked this up. Did I pick this up or did I get it as a sample? I think I picked this up. Yeah, I bought this. I think in the mall i think i purchased this in the mall yeah i think i purchased it in the mall i'm not sure i think i picked it up in the mall at a booth i don't even think i picked it up at i don't know if i i don't know i think i got it in the mall maybe i got it from sephora or 
just I don't know. I'm, I'm, wow, it's been a while, but I like it. I am excited to use it. Like it is real. It will keep your eyeshadow popping. So. I like it to stack eyeshadow. So as you're learning different techniques on how to do two colors, three colors, four layers, and all those different types of looks that you're trying to get done, yeah, I really like this primer to help me in that department. As far as lashes are concerned, I am wearing Huda and Sasha number 11. Really, 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 really been loving these eyelashes. They have a really thick band and they fit so comfortable and I think they look so pretty. My husband said they look so pretty on me and I just really, really love them and I'm so excited that he really, really like them and he really, really said they look pretty on me. <laughs> I like them. So I'm wearing the hoodas and when I saw these elf lashes that look pretty much like the Sasha's with the same thick band and these were $4 and there are the... Willie Hung, I want to say, I don't know, multi dimensional lashes, full volume and length. One pair, it says apply with tweezers, and it's a multi dimensional layer look. And I don't know, this is a collab lash, so they are collabing with whoever this is. I don't know, I'm gonna look it up and see who it is and bring you guys a product review on these lashes. But they are so nice when I say they, they look so luscious. And thick almost reminds me, like I said, of the Huda. So we're gonna see how that works out. Then we have this high definition primer by LA, excuse me, LA Colors. Now, the purpose of me picking up this LA Color eyeshadow stick before we get started is because I plan on doing a full brand look of LA Colors. So be on the lookout for that video. The only thing that's kind of got me upset about that video is that I've been trying to get my hand on the Rivera LA Color Palette. You know, the pink palette that just came out. You know, this one right here. It has it on Ulta's website for $10 right now. When I call Ulta, they said they don't carry it. So I'm like, it's on the website and it says it's exclusive to Ulta, but you can't get it. So I was like kind of upset. The Ulta near me say they don't care Ulta. I'm sorry. They don't. The Ulta near me say they don't care LA colors at all. I drove to another Sephora. I'm sorry, Sephora. Ulta. And they said they had LA color products, but the products that they had in there was all they had. And they didn't really have much of anything in LA colors. They had like a little shelf and, you know, that was pretty much it. I went ahead and picked this up because I knew I was going to need it for that. And I just threw it in the bin because these are all the LA color products that I've picked up, which is quite a lot. And some of the products, some of the products I had already had, but those are going to be, the, that's the stash that I'm going to pick what LA colors um, products that I'm going to actually pick up and use. I have the palettes, I have everything, but when we get to that video, I'll go through that. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video and make it, this video even longer. The next palette that I have, and we're, we're just getting started, guys. No, I'm just teasing. We're almost done. Is the Morphe 35V palette. And so this is the Artistry palette 35V. And this palette, unlike most, does have names. And I really, really, I think, I think I do have the uh, Jacqueline Hills palette. Yeah, I think hers did come with names. I think they're on the back or something like that. I don't know. But usually Morphe palettes don't, at least the other palettes that I have in Morphe, they don't have the names. But this one luckily does have the names. And I have been really, 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 really falling in love. Take that film off. I'm lying, you guys. So those are the colors. And I'm so excited to be trying out these colors and shades and Oh, they look so pretty, 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 pretty. I love the Morphe formula. I was telling my husband that next year, I don't think I'm going to be buying any makeup. I might focus more so on just like skincare, perfumes and stuff like that. I have a lot of makeup and I don't know, unless brands start sending it to me because I'm going to start doing looks with a lot of the uh, 
makeup that I have and this one says blend the rules just like all the other products and I do see myself repurchasing more Morphe palettes in the future I really like the Morphe brand so that was the 35V palette I can't go in Ulta without supporting a YouTuber. If I know I'm going in Ulta, I always try to look up who is doing a collab, who has something going on. Now, I think Jackie Ayana did the Too Faced um, collab with that Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And this is the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Eat It, the Needs palette. So, y'all already know I got it because this palette was pink. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna even act like i liked anything else about this palette other than a youtuber did a collab with the brand and that the packaging is so cute it's pink and like i say even though pink is not my favorite color i did more so purchase this palette genuinely and truly out of support because uh yeah this is what it looks like I don't know if it's going to be a good palette or not because I've never tried any formula by Makeup Revolution. This is going to be my first palette by them. And Emily is a YouTuber that I really like. And, you know, I really like her videos and I really like her as a person. So I really like Gratitude so far. That looks like a really new, unique highlighter. So they have three highlighters, Courage, Joy, and well, they have a bronzer and Courage. Joy is a more of a contour and shade. And then you have Gratitude as the highlighter. And then you have Kindness, this random shade just hanging out over there doing its own thing. And then you have six eyeshadows. You have Honesty, Passion, Peace, Faith, Hope, and Love. So I like the inspiration behind the palette per se. Now, is it something that I would you know purchase if it was in a collab probably not but because it is emily's palette and i'm gonna give it an honest review and an honest try and i might actually like the formula but as far as it, it looks from the pan i'm kind of just like like i said i just got it to support emily um really 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 like her reviews and i'm sure they may perform really well so Hopefully, I can give this palette an honest review. Well, not honest review. <laughs> Hopefully, I can give this palette a good review. But this is the Emily Eat It palette. The Needs palette by Makeup Revolution. We almost getting there. Forgot to put the film. So, I skipped my way on to Target. And... I saw a few people who were picking up like the Profusion palettes and stuff like that. So I decided to get the Profusion Desire Lip in Red. So pretty for a holiday look. And I picked up the Profusion Blush palette, which is a six shade blush palette that just looks like so. And I don't really know how these blushes are going to show up on my skin tone since I'm dark skin, but mm, they might work. And then I have two palettes here. So I chose to pick up the Velvet Matte Palette. And I also chose to pick up the Confidence Palette. So you're going to get a look out of both of these palettes. It's just a matter of what type of look. Now, the Confidence palette has a ton of shimmers, which I guess that's why I call it Confidence, because all those shimmers. And then you have a palette with velvety mattes. And they say they're velvety, so we're going to see if they have like a satin finish to them. See what they say on the back. It says this universal collection of velvety matte eyeshadows with superior payoff for everyone for beginners to pros. Okay, so this is a, this is a beginner to pro palette. A fairy collection of multi-finished shadows, superior payoff 
for everyone from beginner to pros. So basically, they're seeing the same old thing on both of the palettes for beginners to pros. You can use these palettes and come up with the base looks because they say they got some nice formula. We'll find out in future videos if that is to be true, guys. So definitely was excited to pick up these profusion palettes to bring you guys some beautiful looks in the future the last but not but definitely not the least product is a finishing product you use this product when you're done with your makeup and it's supposed to make you glow make your foundation makeup everything look so good bring everything together you're supposed to use it to complete your look and i love the inspiration behind this palette i love the packaging of this palette and that palette is none other than the b the light palette by becca and i of course have the medium to deep palette now i picked up the wrong palette when i first went in there i got the light to medium no who i was fooling took it back and they did have my correct palette which was the medium to warm and when i say beautiful oh this palette is so beautiful so those are the jewels i really 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 can't wait to dive in this be the lights palette honey be the lights palette so i love everything about this becca packaging it has me inspired to pull out my becca palette that i did get from uh i think i got this for veterans day last year for my husband it was either veterans day or something my husband bought this for me my husband bought this for me yeah, I think my husband got this for me for Veterans Day last year. So, I'm definitely excited to try this Becca palette. Well, I think I did try, that, try it out as a shimmer color. I think I topped it off with another color. But, definitely excited to try this out and bring you guys a very nice review. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of editing um, on this video because it is long. But, oh... The Be The Light palette does come with an inspirational quote. And mine just says, be fearless. And I really needed to read that. And I really, 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 really like that on this package. So the I think everybody's quote is different that they receive. I'm not sure how many variations of the quote they, they have. But I was going through something for a moment. And I was... Um, brought to a book to read which is more so because I'm a spiritual person I'm not really religious I'm more spiritual and I was brought to a book and it talked about being fearless basically and then when I got the wrong shade I don't even remember looking at what quote was even in that one that I had opened it up so I had the wrong palette took it back got the correct one got home and immediately something just drew me to just analyze the palette basically there's make sure nobody used it because it was hard to get it um but like i said well when i opened it up and it said be fearless it just kind of like i don't know sat with me so i'm definitely excited about that that is the end of this products that i'm loving slash haul video of new products that i've added to my collection again i don't know if i mentioned this but i hope i did but this is a new product yeah that I'm just adding so can't wait to use that and bring you guys a review in the future I'm so excited that you guys are always excited to come back and join me for all of my videos I really appreciate all the support those of you who are watching my videos give me I will be having a giveaway coming up in a future video if you have the opportunity to check out that video be sure to reference back this video and say I enjoy your video hashtag parlor glam squad that's what we're gonna use we're gonna use hashtag parlor glam squad so you can be entered into that giveaway and I'll let you know when in future give in future videos thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate your time have a beautiful evening
Bye. As always, thanks so much, Jules, for coming to my channel and viewing yet another video. If you are new, don't forget to click the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video. Stay beautiful, stay glammed up. Ciao.